Hey everyone, it's Nina. Today we're gonna do a yoga class for anyone that who is struggling with cramps or any type of PMS symptoms. So if you're struggling with cramps or headaches or low back pain, this is a perfect class for you. So it's gonna be a little bit different than just straight yoga. We're gonna do some acupressure, a little bit of Qigong, and then also some gentle yoga stretches at the end. So all you're gonna to need today for class is a blanket and I am kind of requiring it because it's something that you can put on yourself at the end for Shavasana when we're laying there um, on the mat and giving ourselves a little bit of a belly massage. So I highly recommend uh, having that for class today. So to get started, we're just gonna come up to a standing position and we won't be up here too long. Bring your feet about hip distance apart and you're gonna take a slight bend in your knees. Bring your hands by your sides with your palms facing out. On an inhale, you're gonna start to straighten out your knees as you bring your arms up and around in this big ball shape. And on an exhale, you're going to lower the hands down and bend the knees. So inhale, lift the arms up and around, straightening the legs, and exhale, bring the hands down. So just do a couple of these on your own. And close your eyes if that feels really good to you to help you go inward and focus a little bit more. This exercise is just to start to get some energy moving throughout the body. So if you're feeling any stagnation from being on your cycle, this is perfect to start to get things moving. Just one more after this. And bring your hands together. Start to just kind of rub them back and forth. Create a little bit of heat within your hands. Start to work up some energy in the hands. This is something that you can do uh, throughout the day as well, um, just to help relieve cramps or give some energy into that lower region. So once you feel like you've gotten some heat in your hands, just take um, below the belly button here, close your eyes and just feel the warmth of the energy of your hands sitting on top of um, just below your belly button. This area is the Dantian. This is where the energy enters and leaves the body. So um, when we bring our hands together and create heat and place this energy there, it just helps to um, bring awareness to that center to help bring that energy flow. And then just begin to rub that lower belly in clockwise uh, circles. and release your hands down. You're gonna come onto the ground into a seated position with your legs crossed. If you need a block underneath your hips or a pillow, just something to support you, you can sit on that. So we're just gonna go into or do a quick acupressure um, pressure point uh, that you can do to help relieve cramps if you're really struggling. So it's gonna be on your hands. So you're going to take your pointer finger and your thumb of your right hand, and you're gonna create like this little pincher <laughs> shape over um, your left hand in between your thumb and your pointer finger. So just kind of start to uh, massage that area and kind of find um, a little bit of a point here. And you can massage a little bit or you can just hold here. And just close your eyes and take three deep breaths. After three deep breaths, just switch hands. Take that left hand to create that pressure point between the thumb and the pointer finger. It can be a little bit lower. So just find that point um, and hold there or maybe a gentle little massage. Close your eyes and take three deep breaths.
Gently release the right hand down, shake the hands out a little bit. You can always hold that for much, much longer to help reduce the pain. I recommend doing that for maybe a few minutes. So this is something that you can do throughout the day just to take a break um, if you're really suffering from your cramps. So um, the next thing that we're gonna do is a face massage. So this is one of my favorite things to do in my yoga classes just because we don't really touch our faces too much unless we really go to a massage therapist and even then they might not spend too much time on our face or our head. So we're gonna give ourselves a self massage. So Take your um, pointer and your middle finger and just bring them just uh, below where your ear is and maybe a little bit of front, just on your jawline and just begin to gently massage that jawbone. You can start to work your way down, all the way down to your chin and then work your way back up. These are just suggestions, so if you have areas that feel really tense, feel free to move around and explore any spots that may feel tight or weird <laughs> in the head or the face. Moving to the cheekbones, under the eyes, around the eyes, around the temples, and coming over to the eyebrows. These are always really sensitive um, spots for me that feel really good when I apply just gentle pressure. Going all the way up to the forehead. And then taking all of your fingers and moving to a gentle head massage, almost like your hands are like spiders and they're just going through and feeling the head, feeling maybe you have some really tight or bound up fascia in the back of the head or the neck. Those are places that you can explore. Coming all the way up to the top of the head, to the forehead area. Again, this is something you can do at any time during the day. So if this is a little bit different than your normal practice. Um, I like to introduce different modalities or different ways that um, can be helpful for PMS or actually just any yoga video that I do. I like to incorporate a little bit of different modalities because um, people are going to resonate with different things. So I like to be able to give people the option to try different things to see if they resonate with it. So I feel like this head massage is something that everyone can resonate with. <laughs> All right, release your hands down. You're gonna come into, um, into cat cow neck, so onto your hands and your knees. I'm just gonna go through a couple of um, cat cows. So on an inhale, you're gonna lift your chin and your chest up towards the sky and take a slight arch in the lower back. On an exhale, you're gonna round through the upper back and the lower back, and inhale, lift the chin and the chest up, and exhale, round. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, round. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lift up. And exhale, round. You're gonna take your knees about the width of your mat or just farther apart if you don't have a mat and bring your heels together. You're gonna shift your hips back onto your heels. This is really nice to open up the hips a little bit. If you want a little bit more relief in your lower back, you can bring your knees together and then push your hips back onto your heels. And um, if this is still a little bit too much for you, you can place a pillow or a block or something between your knees just to give you a little bit more support here. So take your variation and relax and place your head on the mat. You can uh, take different variations with your arms. So if you would like them by your sides and this feels good, you can do that or extend your arms above your head.
and gently begin to push yourself all the way up into tabletop. You're gonna bring your right knee forward, your right shin forward, and we're gonna make our way into pigeon pose. So if this is a bit too intense for you to come into full pigeon pose, just lean onto the right hip and start to bring the left knee up. So you come into almost like this 90-90 position. Maybe you play around with bringing your heel in closer in the back or the front. So find your variation. If you do come into this modified pigeon, this, this deer pose, all you're gonna do is you're gonna lean over that front shin for your stretch. Or you can go into full pigeon, maybe place a block under your hip. So take your uh, variation and so like come all the way into this stretch it should be a nice gentle stretch so try to relax as much as you can wherever you are at Just a few more deep breaths here. Allow yourself to relax a little more. And push yourself all the way back up. I know sometimes this feels so good we just wanna stay there forever. <laughs> So start to roll onto that left hip and all we're gonna do is switch to the other side. So drop that left knee down, right knee down, take your variation, whether it's deer pose or pigeon pose. So find your position, get comfortable, and then fold over that left leg. We'll be here for about a minute and a half or two minutes. So allow yourself to relax. If this stretch is too intense, bring that left heel in a little bit closer to take some of that pressure off of the knee and so that you can relax a little bit more. Push yourself back up. All you're gonna do is roll onto that left hip. 
bring that left foot around and make your way all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. You're gonna drop your feet down to the ground Open up your knees to the side, coming into a reclined butterfly position. So this is a bit intense. You can place some pillows or blocks under your knees. So get comfortable, find your variation. And once you are here, we're gonna start to give ourselves a nice little um, massage in the lower belly area. So find your hip points, and then just start to make your way to the inside of those hip points and just gently begin to massage the mus muscles and the pelvis all around. This doesn't need to be intense, just something really gentle. Can get into the hip flexors too. Those can uh, get a little tight. So near where the front of the hips are, you can go down the legs a little bit. Maybe make your way to the glutes. Just anywhere that you might be feeling some tension or soreness or achiness. If you find a spot that feels really tight, and just hang out there, maybe I do a little pressure point on that muscle to help release it. Good, and then take your hands over the lower belly and just begin to clockwise rub the lower belly in circles here. Release your hands by your sides. Coming into Shavasana, you can hang out here um, or you can extend your legs out, whichever feels good. This is where you can grab your blanket Place over top of your body just to give you a little bit of warmth in your Shavasana. So grab that blanket, get a little cozy, place your arms by your sides, palms facing up. If this bothers your lower back, you can always bend your knees and uh, teepee them in together. So get as comfortable as you can here, allowing the entire body to relax. Surrendering the body to the ground, feeling all the muscles in your face, in your shoulders and your chest, your belly and your hips, all the way down to your feet. Just completely relax as your body just melts into the mat. And I'm just gonna leave you guys here to hang out for as long as you would like in Shavasana, giving yourself the space and this time.